Hello, and welcome to the November 2009 Sourcefire Vulnerability Report. I'm Alan Ziduemba, Research Engineer with the Vulnerability Research Team here at Sourcefire. For this month's report, we'll start with the latest patches by Microsoft, then cover a weakness in the SSL protocol, and finally, we'll end with some VRT news. This month, Microsoft released six security bulletins, three rated as critical and three marked as important. All the critical vulnerabilities involve the possibility of remote code execution. MS-09065 addresses weaknesses within two Windows kernel drivers. CVE-2009-2514 stands out as being remotely exploitable by an unauthenticated attacker. A successful attack could lead to code being run in the context of the kernel. This vulnerability is due to improper parsing of true type fonts, and the likely vector of attack involves getting a user to visit a malicious website with embedded open type fonts. There's already been a lot of chatter about doing this type of attack. The second critical bulletin, MS-09064, addresses a remote unauthenticated vulnerability in the license logging service. MS-09063, the third critical bulletin, covers the possibility of remote code execution in the web service on devices API. Finally, even though Microsoft lists these as just being important updates, we think you should consider the bulletins covering Office bugs as critical, so patch immediately. A vulnerability in the SSL protocol was announced last week. This wasn't an implementation flaw, but a weakness in the specification itself. Without patches, an attacker can take advantage of a gap that occurs in the renegotiation process of a session and perform a man-in-the-middle attack. The IETF has been working since last month on a proposal to extend the protocol to resolve the issue. It's expected that once this is done, software vendors will release patches, and we recommend that you apply them as soon as they're available. What has been coined as the first iPhone worm is in the wild and rickrolling jailbroken iPhones. The worm is simply exploiting the fact that many of the jailbroken iPhones have SSH installed and have not changed the default SSH password. Luckily, despite the fact that the worm accesses devices without authorization, it's relatively harmless. It's mostly happening in Australia, and a sign that your phone is infected is that the wallpaper is replaced with a picture of the singer Rick Astley. Due to the growing popularity of smartphones and because of the type of data available through them, it makes it more likely that cyber criminals will focus their efforts on mobile devices in the future. In the upcoming weeks, the VRT is taking the world by storm. The OWASP APSEC DC conference is taking place in Washington, DC, and Matt Only will be giving a presentation on intrusion detection techniques. Next week, Senior Director of the VRT, Matt Wachinski, will be speaking at DeepSec 2009 in Vienna, Austria. Alex Kirk will be at the Hacker to Hacker conference in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And finally, you should mark your calendars for the SAN Cyber Defense Initiative 2009 conference in Washington, D.C., as you'll be able to hear from Sourcefire founder and CTO, Marty Resch, as well as Patrick Mullen and Matt Only of the VRT. That's all for this month. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.